is Lori. So today we will be talking about show money or what you call the proof of hand. Many had been asking me, makano nga ba ang show money na kailangan pag mag apply ka as an international student here in Canada? So here I will just be sharing our sole experience about proof of hand and kung ano nga ba ang required by the IRCC or what we call the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship of Canada. So, let's go. Let's discuss about it. Okay, so before I share our experience, let us first define what is proof of hand or show money. So, POF or proof of hand is a written proof. It's usually a bank document. Uh, it's a bank statement or a bank certificate na pinapakita. Na ipapakita mo to show that you have sufficient funds to live and stay here in Canada. So to calculate that, uh, include mo yung sarili mo. If solo lang, eh, sarili mo lang. And then for family applications, you have to include your spouse and then your children. So each of you have an equivalent amount. So for example, the approximated living expenses kasi dito sa Canada for one year is 10,000 Canadian dollar. Kung i-convert natin yan, it would be 400,000 pesos. So, yun yung nakalagay sa IRCC na living expenses for one year. So, that is only for the student kasi sila yung main applicant. And then, if you have a spouse to come with you, just add 4,000 Canadian dollar. So, 4,000 is equivalent to 160,000 pesos. Yan for the spouse. And then, for the children, each of the children, mag plus ng 3,000 Canadian dollar. So, 3,000 Canadian dollar is equivalent to 120,000. So, that's just for the one child. Kaya kung dalawa yung anak, and then, i times 2 mo yung 3,000 kat. That is just the minimum requirement for living expenses for a year. Next to the living expenses is your tuition fee. So, yung tuition fee dito is of course magkakaiba sa school, kung saan school ka mag-study. So, it may range from 7,000 CAD to 10,000 CAD or 300,000 to 400,000 for one semester only. So, in one year, that would be 600,000 to 800,000 pesos. And then, aside from tuition fee, meron pang additional fees like miscellaneous and mga books. Kasi ma ma ang mamahal ng mga books din. Kaya, nag-a-add sila ng approximately 1,000 to 1,500 Canadian dollar. So, that would be 40 to 60,000. Overall, kung magsama-sama lahat ng yan, so, living expenses na 400,000 plus a tuition fee for one year, that would be 800,000 pesos plus the miscellaneous fee and for the books, that would be a total of 1,260,000. So, ito lang for solo applicants. So, ito yung pwedeng show money ng mga solo applicants. For families naman, yung sabi ko kanina na for the living expenses, i-add nyo lang. So, for, for example, yun na 1.260,000 na yung sa solo application. So, kung may husband ka, mag-add ka ng 160,000. And then, your children, 120,000 each. Kaya, sa mga student, plus a spouse, and plus one child, for example, one child lang muna, that would be a total of 1,420,000. And so, yan yung required by the IRCC na show money. Yan yung nakalagay sa website nila. You can also search them, IRCC website. 
So let me just share that there are two options for you to obtain your proof of hand. So first is, of course, from your personal bank account or your joint bank account with your spouse. And then second is pwede ka rin magpa-sponsor. Kung may relatives ka or family members that could sponsor you, pwede, kang, pwede ka nilang sponsoran for your proof of fund. So, yung bank account nila yung magagamit. And kung under sponsorship, aside from the bank account that you will show, uh, you must also provide proof of relationship, affidavit of support, Yung affidavit of support, parang letter lang siya from your sponsor that he or she is willing to sponsor you for your studies. And it must be duly notarized by the attorney for legality. So, yung sponsor, pwede ding friends or colleagues or any person, basta you will prove your relationship to each other. Kung bakit kanya sponsoran. And also note that bank statement and bank certificate should be at least 4 to 6 months old prior to your application. So sa amin ng husband ko, we had our joint bank account and my personal bank account. Pinakita namin yun and yung total na show money namin was then 2.3 million noon. So, bakit mas mataas kaysa, kaysa dun sa requirement from IRCC? So, it's an advice from our agency kasi because uh, we really have to show to the visa officer na kaya naming tumira dito sa Canada and kaya naming gastosan yung pag-aaral ko dito. So, yun, to show that we have sufficient funds to live here. And... We are just blessed then, kasi may mga relatives and family kami na who helped us to accumulate that money. So, yun. Yun yung show money namin. And, ano pa ba? Mm, just a disclaimer that proof of fund or show money is just a part of your application. Hindi ibig sabihin na kung mataas or Kung mataas yung show money mo, there's a chance na ma ka. Since may mga na, uh, may mga na deny din piman na iba, kahit mataas yung show money nila, it's because of the other things. May, uh, like your SOP, and kung sabi nila, depende-depende talaga sa visa officer na... <laughs> ano, na mag-check sa application mo. So, yun. Haluan lang ng dasal if you want to apply for student visa here. And, hindi ibig sabihin na kung mababa naman is uh, hindi ka na ma-approve. Kasi may mga iba din talaga na kahit mababa yung show money, na-approve naman sila. So, yun nga, it's because of the other things na sinasubmit natin. And maybe talaga dun sa visa officer. So, yun lang muna for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.